Hey, I'm Maria Correa. I come from Portugal, from um, a dental school, and uh, we have a, a research lab called Saliva Tech. Uh, at Saliva Tech, really our motto is to bring saliva into health research. So basically we are interested in looking at the molecules in saliva and using them as diagnostic, prognostic, and also therapeutic following um, uh, di fluids with inf uh, information for this type of approach. The open call was an opportunity to go into an area which we didn't have the expertise for in our lab. Um, so the possibility of incorporating transcript transcriptomics data into the analysis that we already did as a biomarker validation strategy was very appealing to us. So that's basically what motivated us to apply to the Corbell call. Okay, so uh, at Saliva Tech, we have been working with both oral and systemic diseases, mm -hmm. and we have been trying to um, find patterns of uh, mainly, so far mainly, proteins in saliva that can categorize people, so that can make, that can be uh, an added value to patient certification. Uh, with the Corbell call, we uh, aimed at going into another molecule, which is mRNA, and doing transcriptomic analysis, and also to going into another type of disease, which is autism spectrum disorder. So we were interested in trying to see if uh, the profiles of uh, the, the, the um, protein expressions in saliva of certain genes are correlated with um, the degrees of the disease. Uh, autism is a very complex uh, disease and it's actually a spectrum because there are several levels of, of the, the developmental and behavioral changes that patients um, show. Uh, early diagnostics is very important and even more than really um, um, establishing what are the mechanisms behind, we really wanted a, a strategy to be able to classify, let's say, the patients in certain um, stages and in certain levels and with that aid the diagnostics and also guide the interventions that are done with these, with these children. Uh, we had started out with two service providers, but within, uh, um, at the time of the review, another service provider has asked to enter the, the, the project. Um, and this was probably because our um, matching of what needed to be done was not fully complete. So during the evaluation, another service provider saw that they could uh, also help in the data analysis. So one of the service providers is the Greek Academy of Sciences, which is going to provide us with the facilities for the transcriptomics analysis, so the RNA-SEC. Um, um, the Maxelbrook uh, here in Berlin is going to help with the data analysis from the transcriptomics analysis. And then the group at, at Amsterdam University is going to help us with the modeling and the data integration for um, the, the, the exploitation of the data and the results. Well, um, it has been good in that people were available for uh, the initial contacts. Uh, one of the providers, however, had a change in the management in the, in the person that was um, um, dedicated to this project. So that delayed things a little bit. The other delay has to do with our capacity to provide enough samples and enough well-characterized samples. But still, the service providers have been very useful also in redefining the strategy, in redefining how we approach a problem, and that has been very helpful. Even you know, on top of getting the data, it's also important to have these discussions and to improve our project. Definitely. This is also an opportunity not only to get access to the service, to the facilities, but also to improve uh, this interdisciplinarity and this cooperation in a structured fashion. Um, it's not just depending on um, you know, your willingness to work with other people. It's also a way of stimulating this kind of interaction. And as it was actually mentioned today, a way of um, stimulating innovation in the techniques, in the application application of techniques in other areas because sometimes service providers are you know routinely doing something with some types of samples 
uh, being able to analyze other types of samples or answering other types of questions is definitely a plus in this type of, of projects, yes.